Hello, my name is Rui Adam from Scientists of Tomorrow Nucleus of the European Society of Cardiology. Today, I'm delighted to welcome you to this cardiovascular research on live interview with Professor Afid Eitofela, winner of the ESC's Outstanding Achievement Award 2020. Afid Eitofela is Professor of Cardiology and Intensive Care Medicine at Suborn Université and Saint Antoine Hospital in Paris. And also, he is the director of Team 5 Immunometabolic Mechanism of Cardiovascular Disease at Paris Cardiovascular Research Center. So, welcome, Professor Hafid, and thank you very much for being uh, with us today. For someone who combines clinical activity and basic research, what did winning ESC's Outstanding Achievement Award mean to you and how it will affect your career? Uh, so, um, good, good afternoon and thank you for, for this nice introduction. So, indeed, I have a, a, a double uh, activity working in a, uh, as a cardiologist in, in that intensive care unit department and also um, doing basic research mainly in uh, animal model exploring the role of uh, adaptative and immune response in cardiovascular disease. So, uh, this outstanding um, award is a, a reward for my investment in, in the research during the last two decades and also uh, in, important recognition by the international and European uh, scientific community. So the only thing I can say that it, it gives me a lot of pleasure. From the right uh, research you performed on the regulation of immune inflammatory response in atherosclerosis, what would you consider to be the most exciting discovery in your scientific career and why? Um, it's it's very difficult question because it's, it's quite difficult to choose. Uh, uh, indeed, our lab is doing uh, pathophysiological, but more importantly, translational research on, on cardiovascular disease. And during the the, the, the last two decades, we made some advance that is paving the way for uh, some therapeutic approach in human. So I can give you two examples. For example, uh, TRAG expansion, regulatory T cell expansion using low dose of IL2, or the B cell depletion using a monoclonal antibody is currently under investigation in humans. So clearly this uh, identification of their role move during the last 10 years towards some uh, proof of concept approach. And more recently, we, we designed a peptide called LR12, which is ateroprotective, which block uh, myeloid cell activity. So uh, it's difficult to say one thing, but uh, my main conclusion that we did some transgenic study that uh, is currently uh, being tested in human. Uh, in your view, what is the evolution in this field what, and what translational potential do you see in your research? Um, what I can say is that the identification of the role of the innate and the adaptive immune response in cardiovascular disease uh, is well known by scientists for more than two, 20 years, I can say. However, um, it has been only recognized by a clinician recently. So my, my feeling, and it's probably due to the CANTOS trial, which is a, a, a key and a turning point showing again that when you modulate the human response in human, you can impact on the outcome of cardiovascular disease. So my feeling that now everybody understands the major role of the immune response, and in the future you will see lots of immunotherapeutic strategies that will be tested in, in cardiovascular disease to limit the morbidity and also the mortality. Lastly, if you could give one piece of advice to young scientists looking for a successful scientific career, what would it be? Um, I think that science and basic science is, is very difficult because of, of lack of funding, because of international competition. Uh, basic science requires skills, lots of times, but more importantly, patience. That means it's a, probably my only advice for young scientists. If you love science, you have to try this amazing adventure. Thank you very much, Professor Afid, for your time and many thanks to our viewers. Thank you.